Hey guys, this is a uh, update for all three of my series, the Casual GTX Cup series, FedEx Nationwide series, and Traxxas Truck series. Somehow, uh, what had happened on my game had um, somehow, um, I don't know what had happened to the seasons I was on. I was on season six for the Cup series, season two for the Nationwide, season three for, or season one for the trucks. But somehow the... Um, some little glitch or whatever it was on the computer had somehow um, erased everything that happened on the seasons I was currently on. So it was almost like I never did really run the series. It was almost like it, it was almost like what it was. I had recorded races uh, for trucks. I recorded all the way up to Pocono. Um, nationwide, it was up to Watkins Glen, and Cup was up to Watkins Glen. So. Um, so, with that said, um, I decided to prematurely end the seasons for the, for all three of the series. So I re so I typed up the points as it was after the last race I recorded on the tour, and including who all won the races, and, and not not really who all won the races, but how many wins the drivers had up to that point of the season. So. <clears throat> Um, so here's the points. Here's the final points for the Traxxas Truck Series. Um, there. So your season one champion of the Truck Series is going to be Joshua Osborne, who drove the, uh, the number 20 Panhandle Motorsports truck. So he had one win on the season. That was at Martinsville, Virginia. Joey Tanker finished second in the points. He had one win. Trey Campbell was number three in the points. Uh, fourth in the point, finishing fourth was Logan Wilson. Fifth in the points was Dominic Jarvis. Um, sixth place in the points was Luke Walker. Seventh, finishing seventh was Pichu London. Eighth was Robbie Hardy. Ninth was Demarcus Brown. And Jeremy Saltape will finish tenth in the place in the points chase. Uh, Ricky Hawk was eleventh. Twelfth was Zach Golbik. He had two wins. He was the first repeat winner. Golbik had just won Pocono. And by the way, to it, user NY32986, what you had feared did happen. It was a five lap race. Pocono was a five lap race. And when caution flies there, you're done. So that's what happened. Caution blew out of lap number one. Uh, so anyway, Zach Gobick had two wins. He finished 12th in the points. Alex Lozano was 13th in the points. Red Bell had one race that was at Iowa Speedway. She finished 14th in points. And J.G. Norton was 15 points. He was the second Panhandle Motorsports truck in the field. Uh, 16 through 30 was Joe McDowell was 16th in the points. He won Darlington. Uh, Leo Walker was 17th in the points chase. Charles Sanford was 18th. Uh, Jade Agonis 19th in the points chase. And finishing 20th was Liam Irving. 21st was Terry Soltave. Uh, Joe McDowell had a win. Liam Irving had a win. Terry Soltave had a win. That was at Charlotte. Tina McCoy finished 22nd in points. She won the Daytona. Um, Elijah Koufax was 23rd in the points. Chase Jack Rasmussen, 24th. 25th, David Chung, 26th. Hayden Klein, he won at Texas. Uh, 27th was Austin Marshall, 28th. Troy Childers, 29th. Uh, Nancy, uh, Jordan Schumacher was 29th. And Nancy Soltave finished in 30th position. And the last bunch of their finishers. Liam Campbell was 20, 31st in the points chase. Danny Wells was 32nd. Tim Gardner won at Cook Call Speedway. He finished 33rd in the points chase. And last place in the points was Scholar Harris. So that's all your points chase for the Traxxas Truck Series. And so here's your points for the FedEx Nationwide Series. Yep, there it is. Uh, FedEx Nationwide Series final points. It was more of a runaway as it was in trucks. Uh, Joshua Osborne won by by 90 points. By the way, oh, Joshua Osborne won by 90 points over um, Alex Tanker. Or uh, yeah, no, it was Joey Tanker. Excuse me. FedEx Nationwide Series points chase. Cody Lamas will be your season champion and rookie of the year. So a lot of the drivers were rookie of the year were rookies in the FedEx Nationwide Series in season two. He had three wins on the season. He drove the number 66 Five Energy Toyota to championship. Uh, Sabrina Spencer finished second in place in the points. She was the number 70 
ML Motorsports car for the Johanna Long car. She had two wins. She won at Indianapolis and at Iowa Speedway. Uh, Aaron Reed finished third in the points. Chase, good run for him. Mike Becker finished fourth. Caitlin Skipper was number five. Danielle Copeland finishes sixth in the points. Chase, uh, the got Speed Motorsports cars were right together, five and six. Uh, Joshua Card, you remember he had the car that he called Jenny Joe, the Jennifer Joe Cobb car. He had two wins on the season. He finished. He won Richmond and Watkins Glen. And Joshua Card, uh, Joshua Card comes home seventh in the points chase. Alex Jones was eighth, ninth. Jeremy McMurray. He had one win. That was at Texas Motor Speedway. Um, and Andy Tran, who won Daytona and Dover, finished tenth in the points chase. Uh, John Radigan won at Phoenix. He finished eleventh. Lisa Shears was twelfth. 13th, Darian Taylor. He had two wins in the season. Um, um, Chris Penn finished number 14th in the points with one win as at California. And 15th in the points chase was Daniel Culp. Um, 16th through 30, uh, Cal Wells. Cal Wells finished 16th in the points chase. Good run for the veteran of NR2003. Um... Alan, Alan Tanker coming 17th in the points chase. Trevor Hardy 18th. Brayson Mitchell won Bristol. He finished 19th in the points chase. And Riley Elgle won at Nashville Super Speedway. He finished 20th in the points chase. Roy Vanderview finished 21st. He won two races. Charlotte and Cook Call Speedway. Um, Michael Flanagan, the Talladega winner, finished 22nd. Steven Acosta and Zohar Munn tied, but Steven Acosta had more high finishes. He finished 23rd. Zohar Munnan, 24th. Chevy Gillian, 25th. Nick Baxter got a win. He finished in 26th position. 27th, Josh maybe with two wins on the season. Kristen Willoughby, 28th. 29th was Cody Higginbottom. He won at, at Michigan. And James McLeod finished 30th in the points chase. Uh, Levi Jones was 31st. 32nd, Aaron Mason. 33rd, Johnny Gardner. 34th was Eric Matthews. 35th was Matt Richards, and Trevor Reinhardt started late in the season, and that's why he was last, but he got a win. Trevor's win came at Daytona in the Pepsi Max 250. So there's your final, that was your final FedEx Nationwide Series points chase for Season 2. And um, now finally it's the Cashel GTX Cup Series points chase, and it was a close one after Watkins Glen. So, Cashel GTX Cup Series champion for Season 6 is Dalton Day. I'm sure it's not how Dalton Day wanted to end his uh, end the season. He, uh, <laughs> I'm sure, but um, but he happened to have been the points leader after the, before the season. The season's got erased somehow myster mysteriously. So, Dalton Day is your Season 6 champion of the Cashel GTX Cup Series by 16 points over Keith Batson. Uh, Dalton won, had, by the way, Dalton had just won Watkins Glen, too. He, that was the last race on the tour. He won that race. Keith Batson won at Charlotte in the 600. Ty Sheets, he was third in the points chase. He got a win at, um, Martinsville. So, Ty Sheets is your Rookie of the Year for the Casual GTX Cup Series in Season 6. Uh, fourth place was Justin Acosta with one win at Chicago. Uh, Alex Tanker. Finished 5th in the points chase. His win was at Pocono. Cameron Gilson finished 6th in the points chase. Brad Hardy was 7th. Don Poteet finished 8th in the points. He won at Richmond and Kentucky. Uh, Dougie Shears, the Texas winner, finished 9th, the defending series champion. Chris Darton got a Talladega win. He finished 10th in the points chase. Just nosed out Ann Batson by 1 point for the top 10. Ann Batson finished 11th. Good run for her in the points chase. Ryan Cooper, today's on a 500 winner, finished in 12th. Adrian Becker was 13th in the points chase with two wins at North, North, North Wilkesboro and Infineon Raceway. Charles Jackson, 14th, and Justin or John Acosta comes home 15th in the points chase. 16th through 30. Joey Krause got a win in Atlanta. He finished 16th in the points chase. Uh... Aaron Williams finished 17th with a, with a win at Michigan. Barney Ward, 18th. Ben Ward, 19th. And Isaac Smith, 20th. Sean Henley was 21st in the points chase with two wins at California Speedway and also at um, uh, Riverside. 
Seth Cole finally got a win. The president of the NSCRA finished 22nd in points, but his finally, he finally got a win when he beat out Eric Burton by one one thousandth of a second at Pocono Raceway. I still got that race. If you want me to upload it, then I can. So, anyway. Um, I still have the remaining races I had, so if you want me to to upload some of them, then I will um, on the tour. <clears throat> anyway, Jasmine Acosta finished 23rd in the points chase. She got a, her win was at Las Vegas. Uh, Eric Burton finished 24th. 25th was Trent Dunham. 26th, Ryan Acosta. Eric Burton's win, by the way, came at Charlotte or came at Dover. Trent Dunham, 25th. 26th, Trent Ryan Acosta. 27th, Zed Weinstein. His win was at the Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis. Justin Perry was 28th. He won at Chicagoland Speedway. I, that was my mistake. I said Justin Acosta won at Chicagoland Speedway. His win actually was at New Hampshire. Excuse me, that was Justin Acosta's win. Dunn LaPrade came in 29th. He won at Rockingham. And Kurt Mordenick come home in 30th place. Uh, Samuel Mills was 31st, Preston Plored 32nd, Sophie Dillon finished 33rd, she won at Darlington, Jack Richards 34th, disappointing season for the Season 3 champ of the Mountain Dew Racing Series, Dustin Sloniker 35th, with two wins on the season, he won at Bristol and at Daytona in the Pepsi 400, Domin Domingo Watte 36th, and Max Skinner was 37th. So, there was your final points for the shortened seasons, <laughs> sorry. And for those of you looking for some of the races, I'm sorry to say this, but I deleted the races. So, but, um, off YouTube. So, so, any of you want to crucify me for that, I understand that. Anyway, if any of you want to crucify me for, del for deleting the races off YouTube, the Season 6 Cup, Season 2 Nationwide, and Season 3, Season 1 of Trucks, and I am sorry about that. I wasn't really thinking. That was before I thought of this. So, uh, season seven signups will be coming up. Some uh, be coming up in the new in the new year uh, with um, maybe changes to the seasons in, in this in the um, all three of the series. Maybe so. Um, keep you posted on that. And again, I am sorry uh, for what for all the hassle and everything and. Uh, yeah, so so that's how so that's your final points in the shortened seasons. And thank you all for running the very series. And hopefully, hopefully they'll be hopefully we'll be back for um well eh, anyway. It's Rare Race from 1985, and I'll see you next time. And Merry Christmas.